Uh, hey there, it's John. Um, just wanted to poke in here before the start of the show. Um, just to let you know that I had recorded this entire episode prior to the news of today's, uh, today as I'm recording this, Sunday's tragedy uh, in uh, Sutherland Springs, Texas, a small community outside of San Antonio. Um, 26 people dead, 27 including the shooter and another uh, mass shooting, this time in a church. Um, listen, I'm not a church person. I'm not going to give thoughts and prayers. Uh, what I will say is, is that uh, I'm really saddened about this. If you are a person who's affected by this and you're hearing my voice, I just want you to know uh, that I'm so sorry. Uh, if you're just a human and you're affected by this sort of thing, um, hopefully the next 30 minutes or so takes your mind off of it. Uh, I don't really intend to cover these sorts of things uh, going forward unless it's like super relevant on a particular episode, but... Um, you know, hopefully going forward there can be some sort of change that prevents me from having to. I don't necessarily uh, think it'll happen, but, you know, we can help. Anyhow, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the show. Goodness me. Welcome back to the John DuLong Show. I'm John DuLong. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is the podcast about one man's desire to have a podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really do appreciate it. And honestly, before we get started with all of the regular nonsense um, on here on episode two, I just, I gotta say, like, Wow, guys. Guys. Wow. Um, absolutely blown away by the response that I've been getting. Uh, to be honest with you, it, the number of people that have been listening, uh, it, it completely exceeded my expectations. Um, when I started this, I thought, you know, a few of my friends might enjoy this. But already we're starting to see uh, numbers that I just never thought that we would reach, uh, which is just it's just mind-boggling. I, I don't have words. And that's not a good thing for a podcast where I typically am just speaking. So that might be a problem. Okay, I could probably say a few things. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we are available now on iTunes. Uh, just search for the John DeLong show there. Also, uh, I have been posting this, uh, posted the first episode up on YouTube, if that's your bag. Uh, the John DeLong show on YouTube as well. You should be able to locate it. Um, I think the way that it's sort of the podcast app sort of does it is it splits uh, it into uh, 15 minute chunks. So the first episode's like 15 minutes and then five minutes for the end. It's kind of silly, but you know whatever this is a this is a free show and it's a hobby that i'm really not paying for so yeah i'm not really gonna invest any time into uh into trying to get all of the parts onto one youtube video if that's gonna cause cause difficulty um although one thing that i have realized that i need to do is uh invest a little bit of money on a website in some sort of web page uh, I'm already looking at uh, pricing for for domain name um, if you have out there in the world any tips tricks uh, suggestions on uh, web space on uh, you know website builder I'm no coder so uh, if you have anything out there that uh, that you would recommend if you're looking to create a website uh, to build a portfolio and you think that you can build one that I will be easily able to use, uh, that would be super. Um, if you know how to do it and you just want to do it for free, that would be great too. Uh, I'll be sure to give you a, a regular plug on air. Um, and of course, uh, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Jibberty and email the show at johndulongshow at gmail.com. Got a few emails. We'll get into those a little bit later. 
Uh, what else are we going to be talking about today? Uh, well, as 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 mentioned, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, Stranger Things, about Netflix. Today, I want to talk about some uh, some shitty stuff that's been going on on social media this week. Um, and uh, like I said, we'll get into some letters as well. I got to tell you though, uh, if you're listening to this on the day that it drops, check out uh, take keep an eye out for tomorrow, Tuesday, November seventh. Uh, 30 for 30, Nature Boy, uh, the life and times and careers of wrestling legend Ric Flair. I got to tell you, I just watched the trailer for this before I started recording. I'm excited. It looks like it's just going to be a couple of hours of like Ric Flair promos and then people talking about Ric Flair and then Ric Flair talking. And it just, it right up my alley, man. Like Ric Rick Flair, I'm telling you right now, and I'm sorry if you're not a wrestling fan. You know what? No, uh, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, Rick Flair is far and away, like, he was so ahead of his time, uh, and he was the best at what he did uh, back in the day. Like, you know, back in those days um, when he was at the height of his run, like, you know, 70s and the 80s into the 90s, those guys just those wrestlers they just worked they went out on the road they were on the road like you know 300 days a year wrestling something like 200 matches a year and just like living hard partying hard working hard and just like the stories that rick flair has like he's paying for it now in his late 60s but like oh my god i can't wait to watch this thing it's it's going to be fantastic and uh if i get a chance to catch it before next week's episode i will be sure to give you guys a breakdown of my thoughts of it um i just can't wait well i uh, i hope you had a good halloween maybe you were out uh, trick-or-treating maybe you were out just uh, getting up to some drunken shenanigans in costumes dressed up as a sexy franciscan monk or whatever it is you kids are doing these days um i stayed in watched uh treehouse of horror episodes uh some of my favorite episodes of the simpsons of all time first 10 seasons let's be honest after about season season 10 treehouse horror 9 that's when it started to go hit and miss and then from there it started going steeply downhill but you know almost 30 years of television i think they've earned it and honestly like there's still the odd thing in a newer episode of the simpsons it does make me chuckle it's just not the same as as the old episodes were um maybe you were uh home watching uh watching stranger things that just hit the airwaves um here's my take on stranger things season two uh, i haven't watched it haven't watched season one either um a lot of tv to watch man like it's it's honestly i get stressed out with the amount of stuff that's out there to watch like i mean i have my shows that i watch on a consistent basis that when they drop i try and get through them as quickly as possible uh you know uh bojack horseman uh master of none but like there's like stranger things there's like i haven't seen uh the walking dead i've started watching that uh my girlfriend's a really big fan, so she's been getting me on that train. Um, Game of Thrones, I've seen like the first two seasons of, but then it was like I was forgetting who people were in between seasons, so I decided like I'm just going to wait for it to be done, and I know that it's coming up on its last season now, so that's that's a whole other thing that i got to get into. Honestly, it's just a whole bunch of stuff that I know that I have to sit down and watch, and I feel guilty not watching it. I kind of envy my roommate in a way like he pretty much watches only like three things and I make fun of him all the time for it it's actually going to ju- jump down to two because he watches Netflix he'll watch Friends which by the way Ross is the worst I know I'm not the first person to say that I know that it's not a unique thought but I think that it should every time that you bring up Friends you should be legally required to say Ross Geller is the worst so I was watching Friends the other day. It was in reruns. Ross is the worst, by the way. Anyhow, I was flicking through, came to TBS Superstation, and there it was. Sat down. It was the one where, you know, the guys won the, the apartment from the girls, and they rode in on the dog, and Rachel wasn't happy about it. Anyhow, Ross is the worst. Uh, anyhow, he also watches uh, he watches How I Met Your Mother and That 70s Show, and How I Met Your Mother's going away from Netflix. Um so I don't know what he's going to do with himself. It's a real shame. 
I know you're thinking, like, John, why are you making fun of your roommate on, on your podcast? He's not listening to this anyhow. He doesn't pay attention. He doesn't even follow me on Instagram. Dick. I should say, I say that with love. I've known Nikki for, like, 15 years. I don't know. We sit down we do the math on this every few every few months, it seems. And we can never decide how long it's been that we've known each other. It's been, like, ages. Um, we've lived together for, like eight years or something like that on and off it's it's all out of a place of love but he is a dick and i guess if we're going to talk about netflix it's uh kind of wouldn't be right to not at least mention all the crazy shit that's been going on um the revelations about kevin spacey um I don't want to get too deep into it for a couple of reasons. Like, one, it's just getting really, really upsetting to hear about. Um, Also, it's at that point right now, like, where I'm recording this, between when I record it and when you hear it, uh, there's probably going to be six or seven more stories, and that's its own kind of depressing. Um, Here's what I will say. Uh, just a couple of thoughts one his non-apology apology apology on social media was disgusting Um, I don't have any recollection of what Anthony Rapp was saying uh, but if I behaved that way I owe him a sincere apology I, I don't care how drunk you are you don't forget acting in that way you don't get that drunk and do something like that without it already being part of who you are and that's a disgusting human being let like set aside this is one of the weirdest sentences i'm ever going to say but set aside the fact that it was attempted rape it was attempted rape of a minor um that's and more of it's coming out and you know the the second thing i'll say is is that obviously this is something like this is something like the harvey weinstein thing that people know about and like you see this eerie clip from like 2004 i think it was a family guy episode where they make a joke where stewie is running through the halls of a mall screaming i i just escaped from kevin spacey's basement it's it's like people know these things and like just now they're starting to come out and i suppose that that's good but i i I mean i'm not going to tell you anything that you haven't already heard from people who are smarter than me but this weird culture of silence around these powerful men it is disgusting it needs to stop um, and it's 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 upsetting because like it, it's yet another body of work that I can't look at the same way anymore. It's and I'm not saying that like oh what was me poor me I can't watch House of Cards. No, but like I don't know. It's just it's disgusting and I just feel gross about it. Uh, even thinking about it and um, uh, just. There's another show on Netflix that I won't get to, uh, but this one is very firmly by choice, not feeling guilty about not watching the rest of House of Cards anymore. I got about halfway through the first season, um, and I'll, I'll tell you, I like a lot of that cast, but like Kevin Spacey, dude, you're just gross and like okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I gotta, I gotta, I have to finish this rant a little bit though, like to deflect the fact that you're being accused of statutory rape by saying oh and i choose to live as a gay man first of all you're not choosing shit motherfucker you're cho- you're choosing to live as a gay man you're coming out into the public which by the way didn't everybody know that he was gay anyhow like wasn't that like one of those like rock hudson type secrets where it's just like but come on really like like don't like I, I've been an ally. I've been raised, and I feel lucky to have been raised as an ally my entire life. Like from a very young age, my parents instilled in me the the virtues of you know some people love 
Uh, some people are men who love men. Some people are men who love women. Some people are women who love men. Some people are women who love women. And I know that that's not 100% true.